So collectively, with tons of volunteers and support from all these different groups, we put together something that we think is very, very, very beneficial. We think it's a great initiative, and we want to challenge every other city across Canada to do. It begins with the I Am Someone web portal, IamSomeone.ca. It's a partner with the Kids Helpline phone, where your calls get answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week in two languages. There is a I Care texting platform. The problem today is how do we, how do we report bullying? Some schools in the past have that little red box, but kids are not going to go within five feet of that little red box. They want, a, they want a mechanism, they want social media, they want mobile, where they can report their bullying behavior instantly. That's going to get answered. They want to also make sure that if they're in time of crisis, someone is there immediately. We've also printed and developed the I Am Someone business deco very similar to the Block Watt program many years ago. We want every single business in our community displaying this sticker front and center and being proud of it. We have a program where we signed off with the actual business owners. So when one of our kids, one of our, our teens gets off the bus and maybe they're being bullied, maybe they're being picked on, maybe they feel unsafe, they can run into or walk into any business and that business person knows, hey, this is a safe zone for you. This is the way to bring our community together. When you walk through our town, we don't want you to know or to worry about where you have to go in order to find a safe haven. The business leaders of our city have looked at this and have said, wow, this is an incredible initiative. So when you walk into our business and we're displaying one of these stickers, we're going to call the RCMP, we're going to call your parents, we're going to let you wait it out until you feel safe.